We present a framework for planning grasps in complex scenes. First, we compute a set of force closure grasps offline for a given object and manipulator. Online, we rank the grasps in our set using the grasp scoring function. The grasp scoring function takes into account the local environment, the position of the robot, and the force closure quality of the grasp. Grasps are then tested in order of rank. They are checked for collisions and reachability. Once a valid grasp is found, we compute a plan to reach and grasp the object using bidirectional RRTs. We have implemented our framework on the HRP2 robot at the Digital Human Research Center. The goal of these experiments was to have the robot perform a cleanup task. The robot must pick up certain objects in the scene and place them into the trash can on its right. These videos show the robot's motion as well as the time used to select grasps and plan trajectories. The positions of all the objects in the scene were obtained using a motion capture system. Because of the flexibility of our framework, we are able to apply it to different robots with very different manipulators. Here we see a Puma robot with a Barrett hand performing the same cleanup task. Here we show another video of the cleanup task in a cluttered environment. Again, all grasps and trajectories are computed online and planning times are shown. Because we compute our grasp scoring function online, we can compensate for changing environments. Thus, we can pick the best stable, collision-free, reachable grasp for the current environment. Our framework can also be applied to more complex tasks, such as those involving regrasping. The task here is for the robot to pick up the green object and place it upside down in the white square. This video shows only the robot's motion. Planning times are omitted for brevity. Because the goal transformation of the object is unreachable by the right hand, and the initial transformation is unreachable by the left hand, regrasping is necessary. The robot first plans a grasp and trajectory with the right hand so that the object is brought into reach of the left hand. The robot then plans a grasp with the left hand such that the grasp is valid for both the goal and current transformations of the object. The robot executes the trajectory and places the object into its goal transformation. 